prints are finished. Pull this off the build plate. Let's check with this one. And in, it hasn't been cut. So yeah, the tolerance is a little bit better on that. So it slides in nice and easy. All right, we're gonna have to place these on first. Slide that on. Let's see if these match up. Good, that matches up almost perfectly because we don't want to flex these. I want these to go on nice and even and they should just slide on so that way we know we've got our measurements. So I think we've got each one of these in about two inches or an inch and a half at least. So I'm gonna have another bend here that comes up. So what I'm doing is trying to mark where I think that bend is gonna happen so that this one at the bottom is inserted and just to get a rough estimate, I know that the partition between these is gonna be about an inch. So I'm trying to figure out, all right, where do I wanna cut this thing? I'm gonna cut a little extra. So if I'm wrong, I can just cut it down. Oh, all right, so that one has been cut off. Let's see what kind of, I said I think this is gonna to be too long, but I'd rather it be too long than have cut it too short and wasted it. Yeah, so we're 16 and a half there. I'm gonna guess we're gonna need about 16. All right, let's go in to on shape. We're in assembly view right now. Oh no, we're still in part studio. So let's turn those two parts off because we're gonna have to make the bend for the top part. Let's go create a new sketch. Select front plane, left click, center point circle, hover over the center, left click and draw that out, hit escape. We'll go up to the dimension tool, we'll click on that, draw that out. So we're going to go one inch. Okay, that's set our first sketch of the new bend. So now let's go to right, let's go new sketch. Select right plane. Let's go to the align tool. We'll left click the center of that right plane and then draw that out. We'll left click again, draw out the next segment. Left click, draw away, and hit escape. Let's go up to the dimension tool, left click, and then come back down, hover over one of the lines and left click and draw down. We're going to go 2.5 inches. We'll do the same thing to the second line so that they're the same size. Let's go back up. Let's go to the sketch fillet tool. Let's select the first line by hovering over, left click. Hover over the second, left click. Let's draw that out. Let's double click on this and go 0.5, so a half inch. And I'm just going to pull that away so that we can see that's the radius. Let's go back up to the dimension tool, hover over this line here, hit le uh, left click, hover over the second line, left click, draw this out. So the opposite side of that was 152, so that's what we're going to make this. That's the bend we need. All right, so we got 152 degrees for the bend. We have the radius of the bend at 0.5 inches, and each segment is 2.5 inches long. So we're done with that sketch. Let's go to isometric view. Let's go to sweep. Make sure it's solid. Make sure new is selected. Let's go down here and select a face. All right, now it's asking us for the path because that is highlighted in red. Left click. And let's select the first one. I'm gonna scroll this around so we can see the bend, second one, and third segment. Let's close that swept path out. Let's create a shell. Left click on shell. Faces to remove. Click on the first part of this, scroll around here, 
click on the second one. We'll set that at 0.2385, so a little less than a quarter of an inch. Hit the check mark, and that's the size we'll need. Let's go to mirror, left click on mirror, make sure it's part, new. It's ask, asking us what we want to mirror. Let's click here on this part, part eight. And then it's asking us the mirror plane. There we go. So we've got the mirror plane as front plane. And we want to make sure, you notice here when I clicked on that, it changed it to add. We want a new part out of that. Select the check mark. Go over here to right plane. Let's go up to transform X, Y, and Z. Translate by X, Y, and Z. Click on that one. Let's pull it away from the first one so that we know we have two different parts here. Click the check mark. Let's go back up to isometric view. Good. We've got two mirrored parts, equal size. So when we go and change the settings for one, both will change. Let's call it 152 back angle bend. We'll change the name for this other part. Just to get repetition. Let's change the color. Edit appearance. Let's go blue, light blue on this one, and it'll change both to the sketches and rename those as well. So 152 degree back bend. Now we're ready to export. So let's right click, go to export, and there's part 8. Export that, and we'll do the same thing for nine. Export. This will keep everything named in order. In order that we created it. So not bamboo slicer. Create new project. Let's go file import, and let's go to downloads. We'll import both of these. Open. No. We want those as single files. There we go. Those are touching. The select one and move it over. Now, one thing we could do, actually, let's do it so that we don't have to. have supports. We'll turn this up on the end and see if it'll print without supports. Print preview. Let's see if the angle is shallow enough so that it doesn't need supports. Well, and it's just going straight up. If these were on their side, it would need supports and then we would have to hollow those out. So now we can go to print plate and then send that to our printer. 